This is Roxanne Robbins. She has been a supported missionary partner of Westgate Church for over 13 years. During this time, Roxanne has worked tirelessly in the nation of Uganda, serving vulnerable children and women through an organization she built called Tukatana Ministries. Where Roxanne works in Uganda is bordered on the immediate west by the Dominican Republic of Congo, or the DRC. This area in the DRC is laden with natural resources and minerals. And last year, a group called M23 began an armed conflict in the eastern region of the DRC to gain control of these valuable resources. This resulted in tens of thousands of people fleeing their homes and resettling in IDP camps, or internally displaced persons camps. To give you an idea of how bad this is, Roxanne and a ministry colleague in the area, this is a picture of them back in the DRC in the summer of 2023. And this is that same area last week. There are two main IDP camps. One has 40,000 people in it, more than the entire population of Campbell, and the other has 60,000 people, more than the entire population of Cupertino. These are barren fields of lava rock with no plumbing, no food, no fresh water, and no health care. Roxanne has many ministry contacts in this region from years of working there, and she began brainstorming. She told the ministry leaders in the DRC that she receives funding and support from Westgate Church to build wells, and that she could dig a well with their help to provide clean drinking water for these camps. But the people of the DRC have a long history of foreigners coming in and taking natural resources away from the people so they would not allow that. So Roxanne got creative. Since she couldn't dig a well, what if she built a large structure with a large roof to catch the rains, then channel all the water into a giant catchment system that filtered the water? This could provide clear water to 1,200 people per week. So that's what she did. But Roxanne also said, wait, if we're gonna build a building structure, why not give the structure a purpose? So she built a church. To catch the rainwater, yes, but also to provide living water and the hope of Jesus in a dark situation. But it isn't just about churches. Roxanne also built a medical clinic with the rain catchment system. And do you know why Roxanne and the leaders in the DRC could build these rain catchment systems, churches, and medical clinics? It's because of your faithfulness, because you responded to God's call for his people to be generous. Through the Here to Stay campaign, we committed as a church to give $5 million outside our walls to help support leaders like the ones in the DRC that Roxanne is working with. So thank you. One final story. As you can imagine, the ground is hard lava rock, and these leaders asked for mattresses for pregnant women in the camp. This is a picture of mattresses that your giving helped provide. So thank you for your generosity. Please continue to not only give to the Here to Stay campaign, but also pray for this region and all the displaced peoples that peace would come.